Runs with Scissors Ranch and its channel are for entertainment purposes only. Anything you see here comes with risks and is not to be replicated. Runs with Scissors Ranch is not responsible or liable if content is re reproduced by its viewers. Know where your fire extinguisher is and enjoy the show. All right, so today we're gonna talk about how to do a dunk test on a Coleman style lantern. This is the Sears featured in my first video. It's wet already. I had a hard time finding a lantern that leaked. So I've been dunking a lot of lanterns tonight, trying to find one that leaked. Well, this one does as an issue. Um, it's gonna get fixed. It's also gonna get a wash. And inherently that doing a pressure test, a dunk test in this method, uh, it's gonna get a little wash. So go back, watch this video if you haven't. I rebuilt it, I got it to run, but it's losing pressure. Overnight. So I've already pre-removed the retaining clip on the pump assembly here and I dropped it down this slot and then I got a magnet out and retrieved it so one of these telescoping magnets is like an old uh, FM radio antenna it's gonna be your best friend if you can lose parts in your work area. So, clip is out. I'm gonna pump it up. I already dunked this, so there's probably water in here that I just pumped into that fuel. That's all right. We're gonna drain this out, get rid of it. I'm gonna give it Decent amount of pumps, 20 on standard Coleman, not all lanterns like 20. Don't pump your uh, military lanterns up this much, your AGMs, your thermos, holidays. There's a lot of information out there um, on the internet about what's low pressure, what's high pressure. Um, so we're gonna pump it up. And the reason I moved that retaining clip is we wanna remove this. It is already leaking. So, cause I did not close this. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in, I got a two gallon bucket of water here. Let's see how that frames up. You should be able to see the bubbles coming out here. So it looks like in the video where I rebuilt this, I thought that was gonna be good. But it's not that gasket on the fuel cap is leaking. Quite badly. So right now, all the air is coming out of this tank and we can see that in water. So that's good. We have now diagnosed the problem. We take it out of the water, but we still have another issue. This is all wet, and we want to dump all that out. That's why I take the pump out. One of the reasons. The other reason, this leather pump cup does not need any more abuse. This one's good-ish. 
Um, we're going to take it. We're going to throw this whole thing in the sun. We're going to blow it off. We got water in here. Um, that's this is raw metal here. We don't want to let it rust. So it's going to get an air bath, go in the sun. We're going to reoil this pump cup. And that's about it. That's how you figure out a leak. If you have a tank in your crack, a crack in your tank, you'll see it out of a weird place. If your check valve is bad, you'll see it bubbles coming out of here. In this case, the gasket seal's bad. So we saw it out of there. Goes over here, tank shot. And that's uh paint flaking off and that's a little bit harder to repair this is pretty easy we're gonna cover it soon all right thanks for watching